Greetings in the name of the Most High Queen Selassie Ija. Persistent is to try to hold this precious time, never be up the fight. Ja is the way to life. All when you down and in this chase, never make Babylon know your weakness. All when your burden is the heaviest, never let them know. On the feeling, I'm what they realize that my life slow down. People now get the notification them for shooting like rubber rubbing at the land. I don't know why. You don't know when you talk too much shoot boy yeah. Them slow you down. You don't know we don't come on and talk about no bagger bagger and no bagger this and no bagger that will come on come make sense and then take over back yourself. You don't know all that we can't be fake. Somehow we have to be real. You know what I mean? I know it's enough time no found I wonder how oh, come you not see me. I'm a dead man, but I don't know how I go on. So it go, you know. I wanna come on and I expose the new the tea and I shake with booty. And I go on with some holy power out there and it's a rudeness, you know. I just reality the pan shabba rank in mind. Reality some of them are guys and still have been blind. I need to speak to you. Know? That's why I'm outside. We have to talk. And what I basically I try to say to you is the generation where we have a come after we know. I remember we me our first world and you have third, second, third and fourth and fifth generation. The generation where we have a deal with right now. I worry about things happen to them. See? Them not really last yet. But we have to know what we are doing. You know what I mean? Young mothers of today, some are single, some are have baby father. And you don't to start showing the children things that you got through in your life. And stop me the internet, grow up pit me because the internet well open and full of whole heap of crosses. And the direction with the internet there. If you know all your firmness, you will get sucked in. Seeing nothing is wrong with dressing your child, your young child like you, you know. But you can dress the child appropriate. You can want uh, in your shoes and your body rider and your body jar hang out out the door. Then you want to put the little six year old in a body rider shot with fear, body jar hang out out the door too. So that means that you are exposed her to the world too early. You know, give her a chance to grow and come into herself. You are trying to be a mini you. And I know too did that still. Leave a child, make a child be a child. Give the child time to be a child and the time to grow up and time to be an adult. Don't rush it. You want to put everything one time on the picnic. I'm tired to see it now. When they are dancing, they are drink liquor. And they give the picnic liquor for drink. So that means that when they are there and the picnic, they get liquor and drink. They go blame people and say, people go to picnic things for drink. When you are the first somebody to get picnic things for drink. But if you know what we are doing in Jamaica, hello world. But if you walk my eye, boy, you know. But if you wake up now, you know. But if you walk my eye, no, we are lack with eye against too much things too often. We need for what more eye. Well, everybody who is over 35 and everybody who is over 40, you know, have no young pitney. You pitney them grown, like all my kids, them are grown and thing. Enough example me said for me, you them certain things, like for instance, me used to pierce my ears. It cock up, you know, or it, 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 the, the spot still did it. He used to pierce my ears, you know, see it? Two ears, them pierce, and from 1997, I take out ears ring, I'm going to put it back, no more ears ring. Come see me, I set example for me, you them. See it? When them get big, if them want to pierce them ears, them do whatever, but I have to do the right thing, because that's so. I get youth when I'm 17 year old. 
You know what I mean? So I turn a man before time. So my teenage years, before I reach my prime, me have to step up with a family. Because I live in a jungle and you no know, whole heap of young youth did a dead and me and say, I want to leave legacy. What kind of legacy me leave? Leave in a pit me and I don't know how my pit me going to survive. Because I remember that was the mentality that we made it a thing. I never did a think how my youth are going to eat and sleep. I thought about it. Yo, I can't dead enough. But I want dead left a youth. If you're dead left a youth without no finance, what do you think is going to happen? At the mercy of the world, the youth are going to left too. But I never care about that. I never did a think about that. But now I am a grown man and I pass the worst with my youth and everything. Like, I try to show some youth say, Nothing is wrong with getting a youth, but you have to be ready for responsibility. Just like no found a little teenage young girls who not have sex, nothing wrong with having sex, you know. Can nobody not gonna tell no boy you must wait until you reach this and that and that. Wait till you're responsible enough to have sex. That's the word we should use. No matter since you can tell no pit about no run down sex, cause sex this and sex that and you gotta breed and re blah blah blah. And that you have to tell them. Sit down with your youth. And when you sit with the youth, you say, listen to my son or listen to my daughter. Me know you're going to still do it because, remember, me did go do it. See? But the difference with me and you now, you have protection. So you have to still be responsible. See? Responsibility is a thing where you don't responsible for yourself because you're 17 year old and I am still responsible for you. I am providing your food on the table. I'm providing you with allowances. I'm providing your school fee. I'm providing everything. So you are just going to have sex for sex sake because you want to feel nice and you want to feel say somebody love you or whatever, whatever, whatever. Wait till you're responsible. Like, which bill are you paying? Because you going to get a child right now. Getting pregnant at 17, having the child at 18. You don't you can't afford to buy a baby clothes. The baby father can't afford to buy a baby clothes. Alright, me buy the baby clothes. What about the baby food? Me buy everything. So that means I'm me. You get the responsibility because you are still unable to be responsible for yourself. So these are the things now. Can I remember I know? We, have a, we are a nation that we are ignorant. So if we don't come off arrogant, I guess people don't understand. When you are reason too calm and comfortable, people don't get it. They go and say you're boring. But you see the truth, it will still be the truth. Because the only thing that is naked is the truth. We are the one that's the lie because we are in clothes. And we are hide things and we are tell lie. But the truth can't hide and the truth could never lie. You can't hide the truth from the youth. It can't water down nor dilute because the truth will forever be the truth. You know what I mean? So that's why when time you come on from the internet, we try to make some people just understand. You have enough of you who have teenagers and who go through it with a teenager daughter and who go through it with a teenager son. God them I forgot go through them body changes where we did go through. But when we did go through it, we never did feel like oh them go through it because I never picked me we did want. But them now just want to say, yo, them want to have sex and yeah, hold me back and me just want my own space. Pick me with a nine year old and ten year old at top, but them want them own space. If do what? Eh? If do what? Where you do with own space? You are ten year old at top, but they need privacy. If what? So much predators out there on this internet right now. People are talk on Facebook and people are talk on the rest of app them, boy. Yeah. And when you check it out, you have like a 10 year old attack to this dirty, stinking, fatty, or year old predator guy. And I know, and them want to meet up and talk about send me new picture. Because the first thing that some people come up on the internet, I just start to have a conversation with them, you know, they want picture, you know. You know what I mean? They want picture, they want picture, they want picture, they want picture. See? So that's why I come on and I try to tell people have to work with I to try to save the younger generation. Because where we go through, we try our best for we youth them to go through that. We don't want we youth them come go through where we go through. See? And once you are a caring parents, you can't stop talking. You have to always attack. You have to always attack. Because remember, say, I love your love, your youth them. See? In a time like this, I don't know if I could be a good father. 
because so much is going on the internet is there and the internet it it, 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 it teach us a lot it teach us a lot you know it teach us some things and it show us some things it show us uh, morals little bean a bit nowadays and everybody have morals anymore people are willing to do anything for a few more dollars seen and after a man in me I will come live but me say me wait till everybody wake up first seen because you know we have some 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 topics where we want to touch upon and the topics them does it kind of you know it kind of hurt more time when you go mention certain things like for instance mothers some of you mothers are so-called mothers i hope this reach to know stop thinking your daughter is an investment stop using your daughter as pawn stop using your daughter as a meal ticket also your son your son is not your way out of the ghetto your son is not your way to riches your daughter is not your way to riches by you using your daughter to sell herself cheap or using your son to sell himself cheap for you to live a better lavish life stop that shit stop that shit these are things that is fucking up society to the day yeah. somehow on a licky licky mother you know, give out the body parts already to Tom, Dick, Harry, Dog, Goat, Fowl, Junker, everybody. I want to have a beautiful daughter. She shape out good. And her future is ahead of her. I want to push her out for one big man. Right? Because the big man now look for Uno. We're going to push her out there and talk about, talk to him man, talk to him. And I when the little girl say, Mommy, I'm older than me and Ray Ray, this is not in me something and Ray Ray Ray, this and that. The first thing, Uno do. Age is just a number. Age is, is this and age is that and that and that and that and that. I want to see it on the internet and people comfortable and alright with it because the whole on the dirty blood clot girl sit down and watch the Kardashian and them. That's what I'm telling you. Said the TV are that them use to lead the youth them on one part. That's why we as parents, Mars, we as parents, we have to wise up with you them and show them. Say, listen, my man, come here make a reason. Because remember, you know, no people don't remember what happened last night, you know. People look so far out for what we go on today, you know. Nobody no care about what happened last week, you know. See? No people in you know, them house with them picnic and them feed them and them clothes them and them shelter them, but them and them not have no relationship, you know, the communication not dead, you know. Cause remember, you know, everything, you know, everything, you know, even me as a man, I may have a friend, like all Mars, I'm a friend, and me and him now are easy regular as we have a commu communication breakdown. Because I did for linking back and I never remember for linking back, but I link back some other people and don't remember for linking back and he did want to link me with was important. So right away we have a communication breakdown. So the relationship with me and him have it not firm like one time. Because of communication. And then now he must say me now nah, but I link back Richie, you know, because Richie them too busy, man. See? Communication breakdown. So if you have your youth now in the house and you now communicate with the youth, yeah, you give the youth lunch money and you give the youth clothes and you give the youth game and you give the youth everything. See? And when you give the youth everything, you feel like say, yes, you're a good parent, but you not have no reason with the youth. Like, you and the youth now sit down and say, so I go on my son. Come here, my daughter, because you have to always remember when to be your children's friend and when to be your children's parents. So there's a difference. Because you have a time when the youth them want to come to us as parents for come reason. But certain conversation on no one wall. So them get comfortable with other people. See, them get comfortable with other people. And then now you wonder, how oh, comes you can't hear this? Because you're too ignorant. So when the youth want to come to you, come talk to you about our sex, you get ignorant. We're living in a modern time now, you know, we can't hide it, you know. Everybody knows a baby not come from blood, clean sky and drop from moon and drop out a pipe and come out a bucket and come out a bathroom, you know. The whole of the picnic, them know all of this, you know. So nobody make it look like so I eat that, you know. Nobody feel like I'm a hey, diggle diggle and a cat and a figle and a cow jump over the moon, no cow no jump over the moon, boy. Yeah. So what you tell me, say, you still have to tell your picnic, say, cow jump over the moon? You never tell me, say, you never go sit down with phone and look at picnic. I still have instill, say, cow jump over the moon? And the little dog laugh, he sees such fun and this run away with spoon. 
We not gonna tell me that. So we really have to sit down and still teach the same fucker where them teach we from we little bit. And that you not gonna really sit down and tell me. And I'm gonna feel comfortable and alright with it. So we not plan for broke no cycle none at all. And we still are sitting with a mentality at all about oh me did get pregnant with you when time you are 14. When me are 14, so I don't know if she get pregnant when time she are 13. Or if she are 15, I don't know nothing. What you mean? You still not say nothing wrong. You still not say nothing wrong with that. You still not say, I don't saw it for God. Mauka, how are you? You still not say, you still not say something wrong. I know you still not look into that. I tell you this. A child will grow better when two parents work together. Whether a man or a woman or a girl or a boy or no one put it, the child knows how to manipulate the parents nowadays. And them know better than when we did little. Not how we grew up in a single parent home. Not how we grew up with both parents. But once the father said, Low him, make him go and go do it, man. Chum and leave the youth. Sometimes it's best when the two will work as a team. Because when we work as a team, we get through quicker and the child understand. Because when the child understands, say, she has to go through the two away. She has to know herself. But when she knows, say, my father said, No, you know, but my mother said, Go on. So I still have my mother's side to lean, but members say sometimes we have to know when to tough and when to be lenient. You understand? Because remember, teamwork bring them come here, you know. Back shot, lizard lap, foot pan, shoulder rider, right foot head, you know. And one bag of something, you know. Remember, teamwork we put in, you know. Back it up on the dump or chuck, you know. Set good like the ice in a freezer, you know. Man a long distance to line, you know. Remember, teamwork we use, you know. And bring the pit in here, you know, so all comes we want to segregate now.